Last night uh, with the incident on 6th Street, uh, our crews responded to a, our call type, which we call an active attack. Uh, since we did have a, a shooting uh, that involved multiple victims, we sent our active attack response, which is uh, several units, uh, mostly from the downtown area since it was on 6th Street. Uh, crews arrived and assisted EMS as necessary to treat and transport the patients. It's always a concern, you know, every weekend. We, we know we've got the crowds back from uh, after COVID. Uh, Sixth Street's been very busy the last several weekends. Uh, huge crowds down. We're, we're back to pre-COVID levels. So that's always on our radar uh, any night where we have mass gatherings that, you know, if something like this occurs, we plan for it, uh, we train for it. We have our response plan set up for it. So it, it's always a concern, you know, that, you know, just the way things happen now around the nation to, to expect it here eventually. And unfortunately, last night it occurred. I mean, certainly if the attack is still ongoing, uh, then we normally stage for uh, law enforcement. So we have to wait for our law enforcement partners again. Uh, what we have done in, you know, recent years is we have specialized groups that are able to go in with the police under a police protection and start extricating victims uh, earlier than we would have several years ago. So that is one of the changes nationally in response to active attacks is being able to form these teams, go in, extricate the victims uh, in a quicker manner to get them to treatment to the hospitals.